Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We are in the Pimax 8KX at the full native resolution in Aerofly FS2. Now many of you will probably know and have heard as I try and pan around here, there we go, that, you know, I've got nothing but praise for this sim when it comes to VR. It is absolutely incredible. It's really the only sim out there that you can run at a full 90 frames per second in various headsets, but how will it cope if I use 200 degrees field of view and the full incredibly crisp sharp display of the 8K that this headset can provide? Well, I'm going to tell you now and hopefully it will translate very well on the screen because that's another thing about Aerofly FS2, you get a full view, native view, so it's very easy to record. We're going to take off from a very busy Geneva airport <laughs> and uh, see how this feels. Now straight away guys, honestly, it is as smooth as it looks on the video. It is absolutely incredible. And really, this is where the, if you want to show someone the 8KX, this is the sim to use because it's absolutely incredible it really shows off i guess what the future holds really and that's one thing that i've been thinking about with the 8kx recently is this feels like a headset from the future you know even say five years time from now this headset is gonna be at the leading edge of what is possible and i hope by then that software and hardware will catch up there's something very special about having a headset of this technology, of this kind of crazy resolution and field of view. There's just nothing else out there that competes with it. But that does mean that you, you're going to have to tweak it, you're going to have to be running the very latest hardware that you can get your hands on. Um, and with the likes of Microsoft Flight Simulator, it just isn't quite there yet. You can run it, and I've actually been running it, um, all day yesterday and tweaking and I've got it running fairly well now but you know it doesn't compare to the likes of DCS by the way which I'm going to show very soon that sim runs really well with smart smoothing brain warp enabled but that's another video from the time <laughs> honestly it's quite incredible but you know sims like IL2 and Aerofly FS2 that are really well optimized for VR I guess what I'm trying to say is a headset like this really shows off the really, you know, the optimizations that's needed in a sim like Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now I'm very interested to see what it's like in X-Plane 11 with the Vulkan implementation. That's something that I'm going to do as part of this series of tests because I'm going to be showing you all of the sims guys, all of them with this headset. But honestly, this is the most incredible experience I've had today in this sim <laughs> simply because I, I'm looking here now and hopefully this will translate quite well on the image as well I can see the entire cockpit with that field of view and it feels very real very what well, I guess I'm trying to explain it in a way that others haven't before yeah I tell you what I think I've cracked it right Basically, I can move my eyes around. I can stay central to the cockpit like this and move my eyes around. I'm doing it right now, okay? And I can see everything really clear. I can even read the PFD on the co-pilot side just by looking completely straight and level because all I've got in front of me is a massive slab of screen with absolutely zero screen door effect. One thing that really surprised me the other day and that in the G2, there's really no screen door effect until you've tried this headset and you go back. Then you kind of can just slightly see the pixels, but honestly, it's very, very slight and you won't notice it. But what I really do notice the most is when, and this applies to flight sims more than games, you are often looking at a very blank kind of, you know, sky or, you know, sort of uniform colours like this. That's when you can see Miura. And in the 8KX, 
it's just not there it really isn't it's very clear this reminds me the optics remind me of the oculus headsets actually because it's just so crystal clear there's nothing in the way of your eyes and the immersion i guess that's what i mean really that there's no barrier there's no uh, sort of chromatic aberration or uh sort of sweet spot issues or mirror you just basically you are your eyes are inside the environment and then of course you've got the field of view which is insane it really is insane now don't get me wrong guys the reverb g2 is an unbelievably incredible headset and it's actually sharper than the 8kx i think it's definitely sharper but that's because of the pixel density of those panels it's a beautiful screen and i think for most people the hp reverb g2 makes more sense um, it's a solid upgrade path for other people coming from say the cv1 and the rift s and of course you've got the lighthouse tracking the index audio which is better but you know what the audio in this isn't terrible it's not as good as the index solution but it's not terrible either it's been really interesting this uh, last couple of days guys uh, and you know <laughs> my conclusion it's coming it is coming but i think it oh i'm almost over speeding here it does depend on what kind of simming you enjoy and what's important to you if field of view is the number one concern for you it, um you know well it's pretty easy to recommend the 8kx because the field of view is completely mind-blowing it's the other day i was flying in microsoft flight some later say the other day it was yesterday the time's recording and uh, what I did was, is I switched straight away to the Reverb G2. I actually had both of them running, uh, which I don't recommend, by the way, unless you've got a very, very crazy high spec computer. Um, and it, I was quite shocked. It was like looking through a keyhole in comparison. Um, the screen is sharper, the colours are better in the G2, and you get better performance than in the 8KX. You do. You, I think you're about between seven to eight frames per second down with a 3090 running both of these at their native resolutions but what really struck me is that i was literally looking through a keyhole now after a while that effect does disappear and then you don't notice it so much but it is quite apparent when you have the luxury that i have right now and I'm, i feel very thankful and i'm very very honored to be able to have both these incredible headsets with me that you do definitely notice uh, the difference when you're you know flying back to back here it's quite a hazy day actually do you know what let's just change the weather because uh that's the wrong thing hang on a second in fact let's just yeah tell you what we've done the learjet thing let's go for better conditions here so we'll go for yeah winds are fine uh, visibility high visibility cloud that we've got lots of cloud and we'll have it fairly high and we'll just go and do a bit of a flight in say something a bit bigger not bigger faster <laughs> what do you reckon guys i'm looking for perhaps the hornet or something like that where are you some very nice selection i'll tell you what we'll use the f15 what kind of oh that's a nice yeah we'll go for that and we'll go for because we're in switzerland so let's kind of fly out of uh yeah we'll fly out of uh is it scion Sion, scion no idea let's see what this looks like right i'm just gonna be waiting here sorry guys i'll see you in oh no it's already loaded oh wow oh my god oh yes that is that's very very nice now as i say i am actually running the native 8k uh resolution 100 in steam vr 100 percent uh, native and <laughs> this is beautiful this is a beautiful panel i could just sit here quite honestly but no we'll go for a flight but i could just sit here looking at this just the console right if i am like looking straight ahead now i can see the consoles just the bottoms at the sides there and just being in this cockpit i can't wait to show you dcs guys because there's one thing wow <laughs> look at this here we go hopefully you can hear me okay and i'm not too loud or the 
Yeah, oh, this is so smooth. This is insanely smooth. I must at least be getting. Now that's the great thing actually about this headset is the refresh rate at native resolution is 75 Hertz, which actually feels completely fine to me. It doesn't feel flashy or stroby or uncomfortable. You know, you think it would be. So that must mean I am running 75 frames per second because I'm not using motion pre-projection. I've got that turned off on purpose so that I know if I'm not running the full frame rate here. And I, ha I really am. With the 3090, and the 10900K I'm running, you can definitely run the 8KX at full native resolution in Aerofly Fist 2 at 75 frames per second. Oh my goodness me. Now I know guys, this sim is simplistic. It's not, you know, up there with the likes of Microsoft Flight Simulator, but you can run this quite realistically with add-ons. With the Just Flight Hawk, or the R22 helicopter with the many add-ons that you can have. This is an add-on right now I'm running. Uh, this beautiful Switzerland scenery. This is available on Steam VR. It's, yeah, one of the most amazing experiences that you can have in VR. It's unbelievable. And I totally understand why Pimax used Aerofly as their sort of demonstrative when they was uh, showing off the 8KX at various sort of VR events. I think it was last year or the year, no, even the year before actually, but probably nearly two years ago in fact. So, no surprises here guys, this is unbelievable experience, it is incredible. With the field of view and the incredible crisp resolution, the 8KX is a massive winner. It is unbelievable. I wish I could just invite you all around so you can try it. Now I must admit, uh, as you can probably tell, I'm running the microphone of the 8KX. I don't think it's as good as some of its competitors. I do feel the likes of the Reverb and the Quest 2 and the Index, are, you know, the, the uh, microphone is definitely better. But it's not terrible, it's not awful, but it's not amazing either. But it does the job. That's it guys for this sort of, I guess, you know, first look in Aerofly FS2. If you love using this sim in VR, the 8KX is absolutely mind-blowing. It really is mind-blowing, guys. I mean, look at this. Th Honestly, that's what it feels like in this headset, is I feel like I've got something from the future. What an experience. Thank you so much for watching, guys. DCS will be the next one on the list to test. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. And I am speechless right now. I'm going to continue this flying and bid you farewell. Bye-bye for now. Take care.